Hello Sterling, I am glad you launched this product as I hope this will help me solve my issue. I had a question in regards of topic getting hard and stamina in bed. I did not had this issue until age of 29 and it stuck with me since. So the topic of uh, getting hard and, st and staying longer. I improve my wood and there are good improvements, but my stamina is ridiculous. Funny part is that before I choose to stay with my girl, I had two girls at the same time and did not have any issues with these topics and there was a lot of sex happening. About the issue, if my girl gives me head, I can last long, uh, but as soon as we get into full sex mode, I'm done in about one to two minutes. I don't get why, but I could imagine that part of it is my brain as it is sitting in my head over two, three years. Also, I used to recharge fast. Now it is almost impossible. Even if I do it two to three times in a day with breaks, I still finish too fast. I do sport, eat simple foods like rice, chicken, steak. I do gym and boxing. I also work a lot. Definitely don't sleep enough, uh, but it has been my that way my whole life. On average, I sleep about six hours. Testosterone levels are also good. I'm checking them one to two times a year. I have regular check on my king snake and he's healthy. My heart is in great condition as I tested out in August. I am not fat, body percent, fat percentage of 10 to 12%, and I just turned 32. Can it really be that simple that the one hormone is killing it all for me? Thanks for taking your time and making this product. Hope to meet you in soon in upcoming IRLs. So, it sounds, so I, here's, the, here's the interesting thing about your question, right? You say here, I did not have this issue until age 29. Um, funny thing is, before I chose to stay with my girl, I had two girls at the same time, and I did not have any issues with this. And there was a lot of sex happening. So that tells me it's that tells me it's like a anchoring. It's you've if you know if you're familiar with what anchoring is, it's a concept in hypnosis where we anchor, like tie together certain feelings and emotions and physical responses to things. So it sounds to me like you have anchored premature ejaculation to this particular woman. So we have to break that anchor. Um, so it's there's certain things you need to look out for. Like what is triggering that anchor? What is, like what are the, f what are the feeling? Is this, this gonna take a lot of introspective work for you? Cause this is, to me, this isn't, this this is very clearly a mental thing. It's not a physical thing. If you, if, if what you're telling me is true and you never had this problem before, you never, if you're prom if you, if I'm reading this correctly and you've, you've explained this to me correctly, it sounds to me like you never had this problem before and now you're with this girl and you have the problem. If that's correct, then this, if, if that's not correct, then, then this answer probably won't apply, but it, it sounds like that's the, that's the situation you're in. You have anchored this, this premature ejaculation to this woman. Now, premature ejaculation is often caused by anxiety, uh, probably because you expect yourself to come early and you're worried about coming early, so you come early. Uh, <laughs> so that's not unsurprising. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, you also have, there's a couple of brain chemicals you can play around with, which will help you last longer. Um, primarily GABA. Um, and so, so lo and behold, we're actually, we've actually just formulated a new supplement specifically for premature ejaculation because so many guys are having problems with it. Uh, but GABA is, is, is kind of like a relaxing neurotransmitter that helps you calm down and last longer. Um, so things that you can... This would, be, 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 this would be worth you just buying a couple of these things and trying it out to see if this fixes the problem. Because if it does, that's easy. Then it's no problem. Super fix. Uh, taurine can help. Is a building block of GABA. Try a bit of taurine. Try L-theanine. It's also a building block of GABA. Uh, try vitamin B12 methylcobalamin, not cyanocobalamin, methylcobalamin. That is also a relaxing. Uh, it helps treat anxiety. So like the neurotransmitter, uh, magnesium glycinate, magnesium helps reduce your adrenaline levels, and uh, glycine, which is the part bound to the magnesium, magnesium glycinate. The glycine is a, another relaxing, calming neurotransmitter that's similar to GABA. So these things are all really good for reducing or increasing your GABA and reducing things like cortisol and adrenaline, uh, and reducing well and reducing glutamate, uh, which you can get in lots of. If you consume lots of foods with MSG in them, but it doesn't, you sound European uh, by your name and your, the way you're typing. So I'm suspecting European, so you probably don't have many much MSG in your diet. But if you did, uh, then I'd say cut out as much salty MSG-laden foods as you possibly could as well. 
uh, you might find that this adjustment, uh, bio, this little biochemical adjustment, could fix your performance anxiety issue entirely. However, I still suspect it is a, a mental anchor. So you need to do some introspective work and realize, and kind of be a bit self-analyzing uh, during the act of sex in a way, and realize, okay, when's the trigger happening, and what's causing the trigger, and what do I feel like? So what, what, what do you physically feel? In your body, while when you when you like when you're in sex and you put it in and you're like, oh shit, I'm not. You realize, oh shit, I'm not gonna last. What is your what does it feel like physically? What is it? What are you thinking mentally and feeling emotionally? And what caused those things to trigger? What was the trigger that did it? And then how can you break the trigger? Or break it's kind of because this is a habitual conditioned response you now have. So how do you you have to break the trigger? You have to break the anchor. And do something different, and fizz, and move, and change your physical state during the act of sex. That's a bit. Uh, hopefully, that's not too hard for you to understand and visualize. But I, I, again, I, I'm not. I'm not there in the room watching as you fuck. So I don't know exactly what you're doing and how. And how this is how you guys get you and this, you and this girl initiate sex and get into sex and, put, and engage in sex. But it, there must be a trigger somewhere. That is causing this state of mental anxiety that's leading you to premature ejaculate. So, identify the trigger and break the trigger, and like like create a create a like well create a, ideally create a new empowering, calming, relaxing trigger that is going to give you more time and, uh, and help you last as long as you possibly want. So, there's a few different things for you to start working on there, my friend. Uh, so good luck with that, and uh, yeah, let me know how you go.